Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, proudly presents the South Union Township Sports Network this morning via tape delay from the South Union Township Rec Center. We bring you three South Union Township Youth Indoor Soccer League games in the A nine year old division. Hi, everybody. I'm Nick Barcheck along with Jerry Dupe, and we welcome you aboard for this morning's Indoor Youth Soccer League games. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer. Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CU TV with Gary Smith. And you can also watch these games on YouTube. Just go to South Union Television. I'm Nick Barcheck along with Jerry Dupay. We'll be back with the first game after these messages. It's Yellow taking on Black in the A nine year old division. That's on the way next, right after this, here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zeblu Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zeblu Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zeblu Mahalov and White. Many people unknowingly have chronic liver disease and discover it during routine blood testing. Possible causes include alcohol, hepatitis C, fatty liver, and iron overload. If left unchecked, this can lead to cirrhosis or severe liver scar. Offer the latest testing and treatment for chronic liver disease. SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Welcome back as we get set for our first game of the morning. It's Black taking on the Yellow Jackets in the under 10 division. Eight nine-year-olds this morning. In net for Black is Mason Payton and Lucas Cooper for the Yellow Jackets. And Christian is our official. 
Everyone set to go, 15 minutes on the clock and off we go. Sent down by Kate and Sumi. Taken by Black here. Sun ahead again, Jackson Naren. Naren, of course, the big star for the Yellow Jackets and the games that we've had the chance to do usually makes a big impact for the Yellow Jackets along with Charlie Murtha. And again, Cooper and goal for the Yellow Jackets and Peyton for the black team as we're 30 seconds in. Sun ahead to Mason Seesai. Seesai on the far wall. Over the midfield line, Seesai with a lot of defense there. Jackson Naren, little collision there. Down in a heap went Caden Springer, but play continues there on the board. Jordan O'Brien now back to black. Sent down by Sumi. Big kick up ahead. On the near wall, off to the board. Jackson Naren sends it off for Jordan O'Brien. Over the midfield stripe again by Sumi and tracked down by Caden Springer. Touch for Larkin Carroll on the yellow side. Two teams filling each other around the early going. Just over 90 seconds in, still scoreless. Kaylee Casper. Sent off. No touch for O'Brien. Back down to Naren. Naren there. Tried to find Carroll. That one sent off the board there by Naren. Seesaw. Right side. Through the double team. Good take there by Charlie Murtha. Up to Carroll in midfield, back over to Martha. Too far for her and tracked down by Springer. Substitution here, first one of the game on for the Yellow Jackets number 11, that's Kylie Marva. Running on as well for Yellow is number eight, Lillian Sadler. Off to Carroll, here she comes, sends it off for Martha and it's off the body of Lucas Payton. Back down for Seesaw, right side, looks to make something happen here. Here, still scoreless, three minutes in. Carroll, again off for Martha on the left side. Martha back to Carroll. Poked away again, good defense by Black. Up ahead for Naren. Fancy footwork, Jackson Naren tries to set up Carroll and or Martha. Off the board for Martha. Still scoreless, 11.40 left in the first. Yellow Jackets and Black in our first one here in the eight, nine-year-old division. <coughs> Poke down towards Seesaw. Naren off the body of Seesaw and a kick down by Marva. Taken away by Martha, good play on Seesaw. Paige Kennedy, her first touch. Seesaw again for Black. Tight defense by Naren. Tries to find Naren, does Martha. Lucas Payton, back to Seesaw for Black. Tight defense by Naren. Plays well on both ends. Big send down there. Lillian Sadler tries to control it. Back down for Marva in the black zone. Scrum here on the board. Good save made there. Thrown up ahead. Carroll tries to find Naren. Here's Naren, left footed kick, it's in. Putting the Yellow Jackets on the board first, number nine, Jackson Naren. So Naren connects, makes it one nothing Jackets here at the 10-18 mark in the first. Only a matter of time before Naren got on the scoreboard. Yellow on top, 
Back for Black. Sent forward by Payton. Again, it's Naren. Naren off the crossbar. No goal and out of play. Naren at the top of the box. Almost got a second. But just cannot find its way in off the crossbar and out. On for yellow is number five. That's Caden Sensony. So he checks in for the first time. Larkin Carroll sends it ahead. Again, it's Naren right side. Naren back to Carroll. Poked out of the box. Jordan O'Brien over there. Or make that Sensony picked up. Sun ahead by Mason Payton. Naren again, cut off. Naren regains possession, sent down. That one will poke in. Naren gets it. Makes it 2 0. Mason Payton off his body and in. So Naren gets a second goal from the left side of the field, makes it 2 0 here at the 840 mark. So we'll see how many Naren has today. Already has two. It'll be the toughest task for the black team to try to stop number nine on the Jackets. Scrum on the far wall. Seaside again. Seaside looks to take over for black. Again cut off though by Naren. Back in the yellow zone. Up ahead for Carroll. Carroll cut off. Good defense from behind Lucas Payton. Back in the box, kicked away by Payton. Good clear by Black. Up ahead, yellow up 2-0. Eight minutes left in the first. Mirtha back on for Carroll for the Jackets. Up ahead to Sensony. Kicked down again in midfield. Touch sent ahead by Marva. That one's down, far wall for Seesaw. Naren all over him all game. Poked up ahead. Black looks to make hay here in their own end, but it's sent down. Good play by Sensony. Back on the near wall. Poked back in the yellow zone. Checking on for the Jackets. Number 10. Kane and Sumi's back on after a short break. Naren, big clear. Off a of body. Send down for Sumi. Back in the yellow zone, Martha. Good defense again by Black. Lucas Payton, two nothing yellow. Eight minutes into the first. Martha, Charlie Martha looks to send it off to Owen Baker, but taken away again by Black. Lucas Payton's played some good defense in this one. Lillian Sadler's on for yellow. Almost with a Shot on goal was Martha. Mason Seaside tries to push it back here in the black zone. He will. Quickly up the left side, guarded by Naren. Picked up. Sent ahead by Lucas Cooper. Naren takes it away, back on for Black is number six, Mason Mecklenburg. Seesaw, tight defense by Sumi. Naren sends it up ahead. Still in the black zone, now poked back in the yellow territory. Rolls down to the near corner. Sun up ahead, just on. Number six, Jordan O'Brien. Five and a half left before halftime. Two nothing yellow. Two goals for Naren. Now Martha. Seesaw will take it here for Black. Racing up the right side, guarded by Naren. Seesaw tries to get some help from Martha. Also coming over is Sadler, and it's picked up. Another save there for Cooper. Or make that Peyton. Lucas Payton. 
That shot picked up. Good play there by Mason Payton. Running on for Black is Springer. Still 2-0 yellow. On the near wall, sent ahead by Logan Collins, number 11. That's a handball in our first stoppage pretty much of this one here at the 440 mark. Carroll is back on for yellow. She'll set this one up for Naren. Pokes it ahead. Naren right side, sends it down off a of body. Good stop by Collins. Sumi. Your Seesaw. Seesaw pokes it down far in the black zone. He's trying to set up something here for his black team. Trailing 2 0 with four minutes left. Benarin takes it away again. Sprints up the left side, back in the yellow zone. Naren picked up. Mason Payton having none of that. Off to Collins, back in the black zone right side. Trying to help him out is Morrison Gunter. Now back in the yellow zone off the board. Quick moving first, under four minutes to go. Shots in. Number eight gets that one, Lillian Sadler, her first, makes it three nothing. Set up well by Larkin Carroll. Sadler gets the goal, makes it three nil. So a good start for Yellow, up three nothing with just over three minutes left in the first. Seesaw, just wide. Best opportunity so far for Black. That one's poked out of play. A little too much air under that one for Casper. Set down for Cooper. Shut out so far for him. Carroll, head of steam up ahead. Carroll, shot picked up by Payton. Keeps this a three goal game. Seesaw. Cut off there by Naren. Good defense. Playing well both ends as Naren. Races up ahead left side. Shot. Knocking that one home is Larkin Carroll. So the shot off the body of Peyton. Knocking it home is Carroll. So Carroll with the goal, her first, and the assist for Naren makes it 4 0. Great first half for Yellow. Clicking on all cylinders. Poked ahead. Here's Sumi for yellow. Sun up too far for Carroll. Back down to Seaside for black. Seaside tracks it down. Tight defense for Owen Baker. Seaside in the far corner. No one really helping him out on the black side and sun up ahead for yellow's Baker. Shot picked up by Payton there off the foot of Marva. Sent down for Casper. 90 seconds left before halftime. Yellow up 4 0. Sent down by Carroll. Back to Baker. Again, Black. Gunter off to Seaside. Cut off again by Naren. Poke down off the body of Carroll. One minute left in the first. <laughs> Poke back down. Giving a chase is Naren, deep in the black zone. Fires it off the wall. Cut off by Casper. Sent down by Carroll, but it's cut off. 35 seconds left. Sun ahead by Marva. Poke back down. Back in the black zone, but Naren will have none of that. Naren, as yellow looks to preserve the shutout here going into the halftime period, looked like it could have been a handball call on Baker there. Play continues under 15. Casper. Off to Baker for yellow. Final five seconds. Baker picked up effortlessly by 
Payton flung down, and that's it. Quick moving first half, and it's been all jackets. Goals by Naren, two of them, Sadler and Carroll have tallies as well. And after 15 minutes of play, Yellow Jackets four, black nothing. More after this, youth indoor soccer right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724 438 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri County area. For more information, call Mike at 724 438 5400. That's 724 438 5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Kessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured when they come in has an expectation that their case is important and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back. 4 nothing yellow on top of black here as we begin the second half. New goalie on for the Yellow Jackets. It is not Lucas Cooper. We'll try to get you a name and number there. It's still Mason Payton and net for black and why not pitching a shutout after 15 minutes of play on the way. That one saved. Thrown up ahead just far enough. Naren pokes it ahead picked up with ease by Payton. Seaside. Seaside sends it down off the board and picked up again. Flung down for Naren. 
Naren shoots it, and it's in. Jackson Naren picking up where he left off in the first, knocks it home, makes it 5 0. Up ahead, Cease High. Guarded tightly by Carroll. Back to Carroll. Springer. Shot on the way for Lucas Payton. Redirected off the board and picked up. Trying to knock that home with Seaside. Looking for his first goal. He's been very active in this one, but has yet to score. No one on black has. Poked away. Good play there. Sent back in the yellow zone. Off to Seesaw. Seesaw. Shot on the way. Save made. Right in the chest there. Seesaw. Or check that. Naren shoots and scores. So Seesaw on one end. Then Jackson Naren on the other. Knocks it home. He's making it look easy. Jackson Naren makes it 6 nothing. So as usual, Naren came to play today, makes it six nothing yellow with the 1240 mark and Black looking for an answer. Seesai taken away by Martha back in the yellow zone. Back for Seesai up top. Goes to his right, shot on the way off a of body. Tries to get his bearings again. Track it down. Cut off by Martha. Poked ahead by Casper and stop things here. Back on for yellow is Marva. Also back on for yellow is Sadler, who had a goal in the first. Payton streaking up ahead. Picked up with ease. Shot on the way, Seesaw gets it to go. So Mason Seesaw keeps shooting it and eventually it'll go in. Gets his first, breaks the shutout, makes it ahead by Cooper. Good play there. Cooper and Ned in the first half. That one sent along the board. Little poke there. Paige Kennedy trying to make something happen up ahead for Naren. Now a 6-1 jacket lead with 10.50 left in regulation. Up ahead for Springer. Cut off by Marva. I'm on the near wall. Touch for Payton. Shot on the way just wide. Up for Naren. Nice move. Gets past Payton, sent down again, and picked up. Naren on the way and in. Jackson Naren. Another one makes it 7 1. Five minutes gone by in the second half. Yellow up six. Seesaw. Seesaw putting on the Ritz here. Down for Mecklenburg. On the far wall. Over to help us, Peyton. Too far ahead for Seesaw. Poked down by Naren. Naren. Back in the yellow zone. 
down to the heap one Peyton. He's all right. Sun ahead. Poked down by Gunter. Off the wall. Gunter again. Sensony gets it for yellow along the board and picked up again. Carroll is back on for the Jackets with yellow on top by six with 840 left in regulation. Sumi back on for yellow. Poked down by Carroll. Picked up a net by Peyton. Touch for Mecklenburg. Off to Seesai. Seesai off the board. Shot is in. Number seven gets it. Lucas Peyton on the assist from Seesai. Makes it seven to two. So good teamwork there. Seesaw shot off the board and right there to clean it up is Peyton. Makes it a five goal game with eight minutes left. Peyton sends it ahead for Seesaw. Cut off by Carroll. Good job there. Mecklenburg. Gunter with it. Knocks it home. Yellow gets another one. Lucas Cooper, so give Cooper that one, makes it 8-2. Carroll was there as well. So Yellow pushes up the deficit to six. 7.20 left in regulation. Off to Gunter. Naren looks to clear, but cannot. That one rolls up ahead. Carroll pokes it for Mirtha. Shot on the way, cut off by Naren, shot by Peyton. Off to midfield. Charlie Mirtha. Rolls down for Larkin, Carroll. Carroll sends the shot on and it's picked up. New goalie in for Black. Then being number nine, Kaylee Casper. She'll check in. Thrown up ahead, almost too far, but legal throw. Sent ahead for Payton's, played a fine game here. Seesaw on the left side. In the box, cut off by Naren. Yellow Jackets up six. Casper, off for Springer. Seesai. Morrison Gunter will push it ahead off the board. Lucas Payton. Back down for Payton up top. Staying with it. A little push there. Play continues. Sumi with the contact. 540 left, 8 to 2 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. On the far wall, up ahead for Naren. Five and a half to play. Touch for Martha. Seesaw again. Traffic, Naren will shoot it down and it's corralled by Casper. Mason Payne looking to make his mark on this one. Up the right side, back in the black zone, taken away by Martha. Good play. Back to Payton. Martha again. Solid defense. Back on for yellow is Sadler. Gunter up ahead for Seesaw. Here comes Seesaw. 
off the board and picked up. Almost, Seaside got it to go. Naren was chasing him from behind. Up ahead, Gunter. Back in the black zone for Naren. Four minutes left, yellow up six. Naren cut off by Gunter, back for Seaside. Seaside shoots and scores. Mason Seaside gets it his second. No quit in the black team, it's eight to three. So Seesai knocks it in. Five goal game with 340 left and back on for yellow is Cooper. Seesai <laughs> again, left side, cut off by Naren. Shoots it wide, sputters away. Tracked down by Peyton. That's Mason. Gunter tries to hit Seesaw again. Naren off the wall. Seesaw. Poke down for Springer. Mason Payton. Marvo off to her teammate. O'Brien with a touch. Back in the black zone. Gunter will try to corral it. Good play by Gunter. Naren tracks it down on the board. Back on for Black is Mecklenburg and Seaside connects again. Eight to four. So Black, still with a hope and a prayer, makes it a four goal game. Patrick for Seaside makes it eight to four. 148 left on a rolling second half clock. Yellow build a big lead in the first, up 4 nothing after 15, and it's been tough for Black to come back from that. Yellow adding four goals in the second. Naren up ahead. Mason Payton. Sun ahead again by Payton. Lee Springer had that last touch. Now Paige Kennedy, and it's picked up. Just about a minute left. Collision there, the two number fours hit the deck. That's Springer and Cooper. They're all right. Sensony cut off, back to Mecklenburg, 30 seconds. Yellow on their way to a win in this one, up eight to four. Poked ahead, Seaside cuts it off. He's up ahead over midfield. Cooper with the cutoff, Seaside on the way off the board. And it's picked up, 10 seconds. Rolled up ahead, that's the safe conservative play in yellow. We'll get the win in this one. Tom expires on the comeback attempt in yellow too much in the first, putting up four in the first and four in the second. Black did all they could scoring four in the second, but they come up just a bit short. Your final score, Yellow Jackets eight and the black team four. More action coming up after this. More youth indoor soccer right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, 
a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950 and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chessler's, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses, and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes for many companies, including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett, and White Dove. Chessler's also services what they sell. Stop into Chessler's Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown, and see Kim, Christy, Ted, and Rich They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chessler's Furniture, where customers send their friends. Welcome back as we get set for our second matchup. It's Green Camo taking on Light Blue. Your goalie matchup for Camo, Noah Holland. And for Blue, it is Daniel Shriver. So it should be a fun one. Yellow beating black eight to four in our first game.
camo and blue. Almost set to go. Uh, almost set to go. Excuse me. And get the whistle here coming up from our referee Christian and. Goalie having some glove trouble here. Nick Ford trying to put those on. He said to go. Shriver's good. Holland down the other end. Sun up ahead and off we go. Blue with it. Chase Hall, player to watch for Camo. Sun down. Touch for Brent Russell. Back to midfield, Russell. Off a body. David Bergman sent it ahead. Over to track it down on the far side. Dominic Telverm. Cut off by Hall. Back for Russell. Bergman up ahead. Big send down for Preston Hill. In the corner, Tanner Bankhead. Bankhead sends it into the box and send down again Bergman. Camo shot on the way and in. Gabriel Senafonte gets that one to make it 1 0 Camo. So Green on the scoreboard first, less than two minutes in. Senafonte makes it 1 0 Camo. Now for Hill. Hill goes down. He's all right. Dominic Delverm cut off again by Chase Hall. Puts on the Ritz. Up ahead for Russell. Russell pokes it down off the near board. Sent down again. That one just wide by Senefani. Bergman up ahead for Hill, midfield, off the far wall. Delverm, fancy footwork, gets past Hall, off to his right. Delverm sends it down. Can't get it to go. Pushed up ahead for Bankhead. Hill. Back to Bergman. On the far side. Cut off by Senefonte. Russell. Just wide. Picked up a net. Shriver. one nothing Camo. Just over three minutes in. Senefonte with it. It's been pretty much in the green zone the whole game, and Russell sends it down. Picked up. Shriver. Senefonte again. Shoots it just wide. Hill down to get it is down in a heap. One Robert Bahana, he's all right. Sun ahead by Shriver. Poked down by Senefonte. Shriver down to get that one. Rolls away for Russell. Poked up ahead for Hall. 10.40 left in the first. one nothing Camo. Hall back in the Camo zone. Bergman off of Senefonte. Looks to clear it. Russell. On the board, 
Ian Ziegler. On for camo number two, Julianne Standish. Back to Hall, over to Standish. Trying to fight for position there was Bankhead. Bergman's been active in this one for Blue. Up ahead by Bahana. Blue with it. one nothing Camo back to Hill. Russell, big kick down just wide. Touch for Bergman on the far wall, guarded by Bankhead. Five minutes in, one nothing Camo. Dominic Del Verme, nice take, but taken away by Hall. Fancy footwork up top. Hall, Hall works it in. Chase Hall gets his first. Makes a two nothing Camo. So Chase Hall leads the way for Camo. He has his first, along with Sendafonte. Scrum on the far wall. Double team on Bahana. Off to Hall again. Hits Hill. Poked ahead by Russell on the near wall. Ziegler now back to Russell. Russell trying to hit her teammate bank hits, putters away. Bergman for blue. Cleared by Shriver. Dominic Delverb, nice take over midfield into the blue zone. Guarded tightly by Hall. Hall takes it away. Back down for Russell. Russell sends it towards the goal just wide, out of the box and out. Bankhead. Guarded by Bergman, Bergman, little tumble. Off to Hill, back to Bankhead, Bahana with a touch for Blue. Up ahead for Chase Hall, Hall. That one's gonna sputter in. Hall gets a second, makes it three nothing camo. So maybe playing a bit too far up there is Shriver. Trying to move him back toward the goal line. Back on for Blue is number eight. That'll be Kathleen Orndorff. So in the early going, Camo in control of this one. Hall. It's his goalie, Holland, who's had an easy time of it so far. From there, Hill. Working on Orndorff. Hall again, back in the camo zone. Right side. Off the board for Hill. Poked in there and camo gets another one. Give that one to Bankhead. Makes it four nothing. Camo on a roll. Ball's barely been in the blue zone all game. So Bankhead makes it 4-0. Delverm off the board. Poked ahead by Holland. Up for Ziegler. Back to Hill. On the near side, pass, just wide. Hill trying to set up. Gabriel Sendafani almost had a second goal, but just couldn't connect. Good look, though. Shriver looks to save it. Bergman pokes it ahead. Under six minutes left in the first, up 4 nothing is Camo. Led by Hall, Sendafani, and Bankhead. Off to midfield with it. Son of Fonte. Hill, good save made there. Standish and Hill again, Triver. And a good stand there by Blue. 
Back in the box and cleared. Back to Hall. Sends it down for Holland. Kimmo runs their offense. Poked down by Russell off to Bergman. Stutters past Standish. Back to Hall. Now to Hill. The right side Hall. Standish taken away. Sonafonte cut off by Bergman. Here's Hill. That one's going to roll in. Give Hill the goal. Could have easily been stopped, but rolls through the blue defense and in. Hill gets his first, makes it 5 0 camo. Back on for blue is Chenna Gemitter. Also, Caden Perez. Verm. Back to Hall. Poke for Senefonte. Cut off Standish. Senefonte shoots and scores. Give him his second. Up to 6 0 Camo. So a big first half lead as Hall will check out. Hill will check in for Green. And someone should take it here for Blue. Finally running on is Bergman. Perez. Midfield, Standish. Again, as usual, back in the camo zone. Standish in midfield on the near wall. Back down for Preston Hill. Three minutes left before halftime. Camo up 6 0. Ball's barely been in the blue zone. It's been all camo here. Senefonte tries to get it poked in for. Standish, big smile for her. She gets her first. Julianne Standish makes it 7 0. So back on for Blue is Delverm. Shriver with a save. It off. Sonafonte just wide. Tries to get it on the second attempt. No good. Delverm up for Hill. On the near side, Bergman. Standish with a touch. Back down for Holland. Mount to midfield. Perez. Blue, best opportunity they've had, picked up by Holland. 90 seconds left in the first, all camo up 7 0. On the far side, here comes Blue. Send down empty net, Shaw had it saved. Another attempt, Blue can get it to go. Great plays down by Green Hill and also Holland. Bergman almost had it. Then Bahanna looked to knock it in, just not going Blue's way. Great defense by Camo at the goal line. Keeps it a seven nothing game with 40 seconds left in the first. Off to Senefonte. Back for Del Verum on the Blue side.
Down in the heap. Everyone all right? Down to 15 seconds, Holland sends it down for Amelia Michael. Michael, Shriver, Senefonte looks for one more before halftime. He'll get it in. Senefonte beats the buzzer, makes it 8 nothing. It's been that kind of first half for Blue and Camo, respectively. It's all Camo on top after 15 minutes. Green Camo 8 and light blue nil. Second half after this. Youth Indoor Soccer right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Welcome back. Some goalie changes. Chase Hall is in for camo, and now in for blue is Dominic Delverm. As we begin the second half, 8-0 camo. Hall. Up ahead for Amelia Michael. Now Hill. Off to Noah Holland, had a shutout in the first half in net. Up ahead for Russell, tries to get a shot off caught. Sundown, 
Good save made there by Delverm. Back down. Holland, a couple of chances saved by Delverm. Off the board. Hill pokes it in. So Camo picks up where they left off. Preston Hill gets it, 9 nothing. That's the second goal for Hill. Ahead. Holland. Two farts. Hill on the board. Back in the box. Sent ahead. Shot wide. Sanafonte. Busy in that first half. Had three goals. Give him the hat trick. Two minutes into the second. Camo up 9 nothing. Poked ahead, Amelia Michael. Michael tries to get it. The save made by Del Verm. Keeps Michael off the board. Shot, knocking it home. Sonafonte gets that one, makes it 10 0. So, two quick ones in the second half for Camo. Builds their lead up to double digits. Battle near the boards, up ahead for Hill. Hill in the box, little scrum, Hill again. Big wall set up by Blue, keeps it out, saved by Del Verm. Amelia Michael, good opportunity, back to Hill. Send down, up top for Holland and it's cut off. Off the body of <laughs> Camo there. That was Amelia Michael again. Rolls off for Russell. 10 0 Camo. Four minutes into the second half. Down for Del Verm. He'll save it. Off the body of Michael. Michael shoots and scores. Amelia Michael, a crowd favorite, knocks it in. 11 0, her first. Driver is in for Blue. He was the goalie in the first. Off for Hall. Del Verm is going down in a heap with Bankhead. He's all right. Fonte off for Russell. Russell on the board. Blue looks to clear it. They do. Back down for Senafonte. Hall, big clear. Off on the other end. Bergman in a battle with Russell. Here's Russell. Almost got it to go. Would have been her first. In for Blue is Hayden Bloom. Come 
Off of Del Verme, shot by Senefonte. Now back to Holland. Holland picked up. Camo in control of this one. Back on for blue is Jenna Gemitter. Shot just wide off for Russell. Russell off the board. Sun ahead. Top of the box. Rolls back for Holland. Blue putting up a fight though still. Sun back to midfield. Holland. No Quinn and Blue. Off the wall, Standish was there. Now a touch for Shriver. Back down to Senefani. Off the board, Russell. Another attempt, Russell seeking her first goal. Was had plenty of opportunities. Off to Holland, Holland. Looks to work, sends it in. Give that one to Noah Holland. Sends that lead up to a dozen. That's the first for Holland. He was a net in the first. Bahana back in for Blue. Back down for Holland. Pokes up ahead for Standish. Off the board. Rolled down and picked up with East by Del Verum. Off on the far side, Standish. Looks for help, Blue tries to take it, but kept in the green zone. Up ahead for Standish on the far side. Rolls back for Holland. Poke down to Hall and Camo runs their offense still, even with a big lead. Six minutes left in the second half. Off for Russell on the right side. Russell up top for Standish. Back down off the board. Up ahead for Hall. Del Verme. Five and a half to go. All camo. Up double digits. Now Russell in the corner. Sends it down right to Del Verme. Russell still seeking that goal. She wants it. Out to midfield, near side. Back in the blue zone. Hall will quickly get to it. Shoe comes off there for Bahana. He'll get that back. Out to midfield, setting up the offense again. Hall, burning clock. Coming up, Bahana. Blue relaxed here, as is Camo. 4.20 to go. Off 
to Russell. Russell again, Bahana cuts it off. Over to Shriver and it's in. Bryn Russell gets it to go, extends that lead up to 13 and back on for Camo is Amelia Michael, also Preston Hill. Up to Sonafonte, back down for Blue. Roll down for Del Verm. Off to midfield, back the other way. Back in for Blue is Bergman. So we approach the three minute mark in regulation. Camo well in control. Scoring eight in the first and five in the second. Under three to go. Scrum on the far side. Off to midfield now. Rolling up the right. Blue trying to get something to go, but just can't hear. Hall. Off to Hill. On the board, double teamed. In a standish. Up ahead for Hill. Two minute warning. Good takeaway there. Rolls back to midfield, sent down by Holland just wide and picked up by Del Verme. Off the body of Bankhead rolls back the other way. Bankhead with a touch, 90 seconds left. On the near side, Blue looks to break the shutout. <laughs> Up ahead, almost Bahana taken away by Holland. Holland sends it just wide. Empty net, and that one's knocked in. So we'll give it to Hill. He was the closest camo player, but might have been knocked in accidentally by, look like Gamitter. But Blue gets it, or actually camo gets it. Blue will <laughs> knock it home. So, all camo under a minute to go. off. Here's Bahana picked up again. Paul under 30 seconds sends it down the other way cut off. Michael tries to make a play on it. Down to 20. Russell Last gas for Blue, up ahead, just wide. Over to get it, Hall. Empty net, here's Hall. And the clock will expire off of Del Verman. That's the ball game, Camo. Scoring eight in the first and six in the second, rolling in your final score. All green camo over late blue, 14-0. Come on back, we'll have one more for you in the A9-year-old division. Youth indoor soccer continues right after this here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Chessler's Furniture at 601 Pittsburgh Street, Uniontown has been in business since 1950. 
and has a wide variety of furniture for all of your needs. At Chesslers, they have a wide assortment of living room recliners, kitchen sets, bedroom mattresses and accessories that can decorate your home for years to come. Shoes from many companies including Lazy Boy, Best, King Hickory, Hammery, Lancer, Wildwood, Von Bassett and White Dove. Chesslers also services what they sell. Stop into Chesslers Fine Furniture, Route 51 north of Uniontown and see Kim, Christy, Ted and Rich. They'll be happy to help you with all of your needs. Chesslers Furniture, where customers send their friends. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Welcome back. Our third matchup here, Safety Green and the White Ghosts. We know a net for White is Chase Rosconi. We'll try to get a name on the other side. Always tough to tell, but we'll get that for you. Michael Obley coming up here for White. Just underway, 10 seconds in. Obley head of speed up ahead, though. Poked by Austin Desenzo. We'll have to get that one as Joshua Faisenbaker. Down through the midfield line, back to Obelie. Sent down the other way for Aiden Wilson. Less than a minute in, still scoreless, up ahead. Good touch for Desenzo, back to Obelie. Obelie, top of the key, if you will. <laughs> now top of the box, sends it in. Or actually, no, it's saved. Looked like Obelie had that one, but saved at the last minute. Now on the other end, Rosconi picks it up. Good goalie play in the first minute. Up ahead for Dane Schaefer, his first touch. Now Samantha Carl, Crosby, France. On the near wall. Off to Obley. Obley pokes it ahead. Touch for Faisenbaker. Back to France. Sent ahead again for Obley. With it is Faisenbaker. Still scoreless. Obley. Obley just wide. With a stop and cheer. A little bit of contact on the green side, so Obley will take it. 
On for White is Villanueva. Obelie off the body of Baker. Gets it back. Clear down. Sent ahead by Carl. Villanueva. Off to France. France with a shot. Save made Rosgoni. Keeps it scoreless. Less than three minutes in. Little bump there. Taking it away. Wilson up ahead for Schaefer. Back to Schaefer. Faison Baker. Now Obelie. Into the box. Wilson off the board. Tries to set up Obelie, but it's picked up. Obelie over the midfield line. Up ahead for Schaefer. Cleared back the other way. Off the board, Villanueva. Now back to Obelie. Still scoreless, 11.40 in the first. Now France. Desenzo sends it up for Schaefer. Down there went Carl. She's all right. Samantha Carl running on for Green is Joel Smithberger. Smithberger first touch. Rolls back in the green zone. Up ahead for Obelie. Still scoreless. Here's Obelie. Obelie right side. That one picked up. Up ahead for Green. Poked ahead near Schaefer. On the far side. Back in the white zone. Off the wall. Good take away by France. Up for Green. Sends it down. Now Smithberger, too far for him. On the near side, touch for White Wilson. On for Green. We have a new body here. Running on is Palmar for Green. Nia Palmar. Still scoreless here, less than five minutes in. It is Lola McClusack. We had a good idea there it was. She typically is the goalie for Green, but we have confirmation there from people who know more than than I do, so Lola McClusack is in net. Doing a fine job down there for Green. Ross Coney as well on the other end for White, still scoreless. Right back to McClusack, she'll fire it ahead. Up for France, near midfield. Back in the green zone. Paul Marr with a shot saved by Ross Coney. Desenzo pokes it down. In the box. Here's Smithberger. Can't get it to go. We'll track it down, though. Along the board, picked up by Rosgoni. Smithberger, good minutes off the bench for Green, but still scoreless. Almost six minutes in. Poked up ahead. Off to midfield. Back in the green zone. Now France with it. Good defense. Wilson on him. On the board, back in the box and picked up by Rosconi. Up ahead for Wilson, too far for him, maybe off the board. Defense by Faison Baker. Obelie back in the box, McClusack. Fires it ahead. Good throw. Obelie. Make that a Wilson for Obelie. Shot cut off. Rolls down. Obelie to get it. Over midfield. Cut off by France. Back on for White, number four, Elijah Twelly. Touch for Villanueva. Samantha Carl back in for safety green. Eight minutes left in the first, still no score. Obelie. Obelie to his right, fire, saved by McClusack. 
Stone wall and net for Crane. Obelis had some good looks, but all of them saved. White with the hustle. Off to midfield, near wall, Obelie. Back in the green zone, pokes it ahead, cut off by Smithberger. Faison Baker in the corner. Wilson for Obelie. Obelie shoots it. Save made by Carl in front of her goalie, McClusak. Good work by Green. Still no score. Seven minutes left in the first. Off to Green and clear the other way. Good play by Paul Marr. Good teamwork indeed there by Green. Off to Wilson for White on the far wall. Little scrum with Paul Marr. Alan Cabina now down for Obelie. Gets it past Smith Berger. Back in the white zone, right side. Obelie. Obelie sets it up off the board. Save made McClusack again. Off to Wilson. Now France for Green. Back in the green zone. France to get it along with Smith Berger on the near board. In the box, Rosgoni tries to cover it. Cannot, and that one's over the goal line. They're gonna have play continue. Look like Green could have been credited with that one. Rosgoni has it here. So a handball there should have been called. The play continues. The ball went over the goal line. Someone touched it with their hands that wasn't the goalie there. I, had trouble seeing down on the near side, but Jerry giving me a good explanation there. So number seven had the touch, that being Gaylor, Cameron Gaylor just in. I did not see that. So play will continue, though still scoreless. Five and a half left in the first. Great save by McClusack, right of the goal line. On the shot from Obelie. Schaefer's back on along with Rossi. Here comes Green the other way. Rosgoni, he hits the deck. On the board. Up ahead for Schaefer. Blows past France. Sun ahead by Cabina. Now a touch for Carl. Under five to go in the first. Still no score. Yellow over black in our first one. And green camo had no trouble with light blue in the second game. In the white zone. Now Kyler Smithberger is on for Crane, taking the place of Joel Smithberger. Also on for Crane, number eight, Nia Palmar. In the box, on the near board. Rosgoni gets it. Rolls it up ahead for Obelie near midfield. Obelie up top, goes to his right. Obelie shoots it off the board and rolls away. Four minutes left in the first. Still goose eggs on the board. McClusack and Rosgoni pitching shutouts here in net. Good defense on both sides. Back on is Wilson for White and picked up by Rosgoni. Rolls it ahead. Off on the far side, Gaylor. Back to Schaefer. Schaefer left side. Schaefer up ahead, sputters out of the box, tracking it down. Wilson on the board. France will take it up ahead for Green. Here he comes. Send down, picked up again. Rosgoni to his right. Back to France, France shoots it. Save made off a of body and cleared. Good job by Villanueva. Three minutes left in the first, still scoreless. Pitcher's duel in this one. Still in the green zone, that one poked up. 
Falls down in the box and up ahead by Smithberger and rolls away. Wilson takes it for White with a head of steam left side. Wilson tries to hit Schaefer. Can't connect. Back to Smithberger. Poked ahead by Villanueva for White. Two and a half left. On for White is Serena Neckenkett. Number six. Off is Rossi. First goal could win this game, potentially the way it's been. Two minutes left in the first half, but these two teams still without an answer, feeling each other out. Here's Wilson on the right side for White. In for White is Desenzo. Here's Green the other way. With it is Christopher Weld, he's just in. Picked up by Rosgoni. Up ahead for Weld in the corner. Obelie's back on for White. 90 seconds left before halftime. Obelie. Obelie. Fires. Gets it to go. Breaks the scoreless tie. Michael Obelie. 10 seconds after coming back in the game, he gets the first goal of the match. Makes it 1 0. White goes. So it very well could be the only scoring of the first half. Obelie knocks it in, one nothing white. Obelie again, right side. Obelie turning it on now, shoots it off the board. Under a minute. Up ahead, back in the green zone. Villanueva sent ahead for Smithberger. Now France with it. so quick back in the box McClusack pokes it ahead Villanueva in midfield in the corner board Up to midfield, poked ahead Smithberger, Rosgoni saves it, and a 1-0 score at halftime. So a good played game, well defense, well played defensively I should say. Only one goal, it's Michael Obelis with just over a minute left in the first and at halftime. It's the White Ghost one, safety green nothing, second half on the way next right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank. 
at your service. Welcome back after a very well played first half. It's 1-0 White on top of Green. Go by Michael Ovely with just over a minute left in that first half. And we have new goalies here. So in for White is Alan Capina. In for Green is, it looks to be Christopher Weld. And it is. So Rosgoni and McClusack were really good in that first half, but they will come out of net. Poked ahead. Back in the white zone. Wilson off for Oboli, right side. And the box picked up with ease by Weld. Here's Obley. Obley takes it in, shoots and scores. Michael Obley knocks it in, makes a salute to the crowd, and makes it 2 0 white. The backbreaker there for Green. Still plenty of time. Kapina picks it up. Palmar sends it ahead. Off to Obley. Obley up top, goes to his left. Save made by Weld. Obley, shoot, save made by Weld. Great play there on a rocket from Obelie. Back in the green zone, Smithberger. Schaefer in for White. Number 10 in, Faison Baker, Joshua Faison Baker for Green. I'm a Klusak. Up top, looks to work. Schaefer with a touch. Bobbley put on the works again. Left footed kick to Nod, gets it back on the near side. Two nothing white, both goals for Bobbley. Picked up by Weld. Up ahead, McClusack will get it. Faison Baker, now back to White. Off for Schaefer, sent down by Smithberger. Up ahead for France, cut off. 
That one's going to go in. Green will get it. Unsuspecting goal. Green will get it to go to make it 2-1. France connecting with Faisenbaker. Kabina just a bit out of position. Makes it 2-1. White still up a goal with 11 minutes left. Knocked home by Schaefer. So Abelie shot on the redirect. Schaefer gets it to go, makes it 3 1. Some insurance for the White Ghosts less than five minutes into the second. Down to get that one, Cabina. Off for Abelie. Friendly fire there as Faisenbaker ran over Paul Marr. Now on the other end, Schaefer in a battle with France. Out to midfield, Obelie. Obelie right side. White goes up two. Nine and a half to go, 3 1. Scrum on the far wall. Pushing there, pushing and shoving between. White and green, here's Obelie again. Shoots and scores. Not much that Weld could do. Obelie gets the hat trick and makes it 4-1 white. Big send down. Handball not called there. Looked like an obvious, obvious one there, but play continues and White up three. Back in for White Gaylor. Also Rosconi. Poked away the other way. Palmar in a battle with Wilson. A touch for France. France shoots it off the board. Empty net as Cabina was out of position. But it won't go for Green up the other end for White. Rosgoni. Cut off, send the other way. Off for Abelie. Abelie looks for help. Off a of body. That one's over the goal line. That should be a goal. And it is. So Weld made the save, but it was over the goal line and give White goal number five. Their lead up to four at 5-1. Hard luck play for Crane, but that's a goal. Makes it 5-1 with 7.20 left. That one's in, but it won't count. First to touch it was France. So... But someone said that for him, it would have counted. So White will get it as the goal was put up on the scoreboard and White extending their lead up to four. Off ahead to Abelie from Cabina. Off to his left over midfield, down for Rosgoni, shoots it. Off the board and sent out of play. That one finds its way in the garbage can, but It'll be thrown back in. Klusak back on for Green. Obelie to get it. Sets it up, fires it in, but it will not count. So no goal there either. As 
Obviously the first to touch it. So two goals disallowed here in the last few minutes. Up ahead for France. Green looking for a comeback here. Down four. Six minutes left off of Cabina. Sent ahead. Back in the white zone. Cleared by Faison Baker on the near side. Up ahead, Wilson. Obelie in the corner on the board. McClusak, good D, and Carl also down there. Megan Kent is in for White. That one's off the post and in. Another one for Obelie, and White makes it 6-1. So a big second half for White. First goal in the game came just over one minute to go in the first for Obelie, and now five in the second for White. Green also added one. Six to one, Ghosts with five minutes left. France in the corner, Rosgoni double teamed. Obelie, too quick for his own good, trips over the ball and loses possession. Along the wall, Rosgoni. Rosgoni pokes it in. 7-1. And White's pulled away here in the second. Back on for White is Twelly. side, Rosgoni out to midfield and down as it looks to be France. Slow to get up. He will eventually get up under his own power. He'll walk off. Looks to be something with his face, maybe his nose. He'll check out Carl in for him with four minutes left. White up six at 7-1. Scoring six here in the second. Led by Michael Obelly, also Rosconi and Schaefer. Whew, the last minute there, Weld. Up ahead, Smithberger. I'm a Klusak in midfield. In for White Gaylor. Knocks it in off of Weld and over the goal line. They say no goal. Looked to be good for my end. It was in, it was over the line, but play continues and that one just off the mark McClusack. So a break for Green, still a six goal game. Good defense there, Faisenbaker cuts off Obelie. On the right side, Obelie again. Obelie into the box, will knock it home. Michael Obelie gets another one, it's 8-1. Sending, or going back in for White Desenzo. Here in the waning minutes, Obelie will take a break for the rest of this one. Midfield line, off to France, out of play. That one's out. 
Under two minutes left, White in control of this one, up 8-1. Up ahead, Smithberger. Final 90 seconds, picked up by Cabina. Good second half for him. It's only allowed one goal. Now France, France back on after the injury. Under a minute, up to Smithberger. A touch for Faze and Baker off the board. Up top, shot on the way, McClusack, and it's off of Cabina and in. Lola McClusack gets it, makes it a two. So she played a good game in the first and goal, and now with a goal of her own in the second. 20 seconds, down the other way. Smithberger. That one too far for Rossi, Cabina, down to five, down to four. Sun ahead, one more chance, just wide. And that's the ball game. White led one nothing at halftime and extended their lead, put up seven in the second and win this one, White goes eight, and safety green two. In our first game, it was yellow over black, eight to four, green camo took care of light blue by double digits, and the white goes beat safety green. Final here, white eight and green two. And this morning's games were brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff, Power, Rick Fern, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and their fine staff. I'm Nick Barczyk, along with Jerry Dupay. Thanks so much for watching and listening. This has been a presentation of the South Union Township Sports Network. Thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. Take care.